Hello and welcome to my channel where we discuss the Power Platform. In today's episode we're actually going to be having a look at Dynamics and this is going to be an introduction to the uh, Dynamics 365 Fundamentals ERP exam. You'll see a lot more Dynamics on my channel as I am going to be joining Microsoft and I will be actually working with Dynamics in the team. So yes, let's have a look at this ERP exam. So this is a fundamentals exam. So I've included the link to Microsoft Learn on the top left. I essentially started my learning there. I also used a measure up as well for the practice examination questions. I'm not paid by, uh, by measure up. Um, I just really uh, enjoy those questions and they're uh, quite helpful. So that's why I've included them. Now in terms of ERP, there are five core finance and operation applications. So ERP basically is all about um, kind of the finance and the resource planning. So ERP stands for Enterprise Resource Planning. So those five apps are Supply Chain Management, Dynamics 365 Finance, Dynamics 365 Commerce, Dynamics 365 Human Resources, and Dynamics 365 Project Operations. Now we're going to go through these one by one and just get an understanding of what these are. This is only really an introductory video, just so you know what's actually in Dynamics ERP. Uh, but of course, you'll do it, need to do a lot more revision for the actual exam. So let's start with this supply chain management. Now, supply chain management, as it says at the bottom here, empowers, empowers employees and organizations with the ability to obtain a unified view of inventory, warehouse, manufacturing, service and logistics with predictive analytics that turn data into insights to support better strategic decisions. So it's all about the, the supply chain. And one thing, um, and I'm gonna give hints throughout this kind of exam, uh, based on, uh, throughout this presentation, in fact, um, hints for the exam, uh, stuff that I uh, gathered was useful to know. So in Dynamics, make sure you learn the differences between discrete manufacturing, lean manufacturing, process manufacturing and unified mixed mode manufacturing that could become uh, quite a key thing in the exam. Dynamics 365 finance, um, you monitor global finance operations in real time, outcomes, predicting outcomes, data driven decisions, etc. And there's a key, a uh, few key terms here which I've included, which I believe are going to help you in the exam. So understand what the general ledger is, understand what accounts payable and receivable is look into expense management features of the Dynamics 365 uh, finance application and also look into the fixed asset uh, management as well as budgeting as well. Moving on to Dynamics 365 commerce um, so this is essentially being able to it says here foster long lasting relationships through intelligent tools that strengthen your brand. This is all about where you can actually uh, sell products. So, you know, you could sell in three different retail chains. So the call center online or, of course, in a physical store. Have a read and understand what product assortments are in Dynamics 365 Commerce. Understand how loyalty programs work and also fraud protection. And these will help you in the exam. Moving on to Dynamics 365 Human Resources. So this is all about, as the name suggests, creating that workplace that people and businesses thrive in. So for this, make sure you understand what the self-service capabilities are that could be important for the exam. What leave and absence capabilities does Dynamics 365 Human Resource and Resources have? Understand how employee training is carried out and look into the integration to LinkedIn. So the next one here, um, and it says our human resources here, but that's actually project operations. I may just leave that as that. Um, but of course, that's project operations here. Um, and this is about connecting project sales, resourcing, delivery, and finance with the entire project team with all the functionality that is needed to set up your project for success. So within this particular topic, make sure you understand what WBS is. So work breakdown structures understand the project's forecast features of he, um, project operations and look into schedule management and cash flow analysis as well. So I really hope that was useful. It just gives you a bit of a flavor of what's to come. 
I wish you all the best for the exam. Thank you for listening to me.